welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel I'm Patty and I'm a gnome maker and a crafter. One of my subscribers asked if I would make this little Bavarian gnome with lederhosen. Now I know lederhosen are made out of leather but hot glue and leather was not a good combination so I made those the, the lederhosen out of wool felt. I'm also going to show you an embossing um, technique to be able to emboss on your fabric so that you can make different designs on it and it really looks good and works well. If you want to know how to make this little guy, stick around. I'll show you how. Okay, for this gnome, you're going to need a pool noodle. You're going to need some fabric, some felt, some faux fur, a couple Dollar Tree shoes, some sticks, a couple pieces of wires, some clay, some buttons. You're going to need some um, hair noodles, some clear embossing powder, some um, black ink, a black ink stamp, a stamp, some chipboard, and something to make his socks with. You can use an old pair of socks if you want to. Okay, let's get started. We're going to go ahead and take the the um, hat and we're going to break the fibers up just run it through a piece of wood or your fingers and then we're going to go ahead and bend, bend these tabs back and this is what's going to make the top part of the hat now there's going to be a front and a back to this hat the front is going to have a little bit more meat in it than the back part so go ahead and wrap that around there we're going to um, glue that off at one half inch up so draw that line measure one half inch up and that's exactly where you're going to glue that in Okay, and with our seam in the back part of the hat, we're gonna go ahead and put this over the hat and we're gonna glue our little tabs in all the way around. And this will make for a real solid hat. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and take our top part and we are going to put our fabric on it and we're gonna just add some slits in it all the way around so we can fold that in to go inside that hat. So just quarter inch slits all the way around. And then we're gonna fold them all in. And then flip your hat over. We're gonna go ahead and break up the fibers a little bit. Go ahead and squeeze it a little bit because we need to get some shape to it. And then turn it upside down and go ahead and attach that inside. And then the point is gonna to be towards the front of the hat. So where the more meaty part of the hat is. Then just start gluing in your little tabs. Just take your time on this part because you want to make sure that you really glue that in because this is going to be seen on the top part of the hat. After you get that done, go ahead and um, add a strip of quarter inch chipboard to trim that off. We're just going to take it and go right around the edge of those tabs just to hold those in secure. Just a little bit reinforcement there. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take our fabric and we're gonna, now remember there's a front and a back, so make sure you get it right on that. Put it on there and then go ahead and glue that down. And then we're gonna take the bottom piece and go over the top, the bottom part of the hat and glue it down. Just line them up real good because they are gonna get glued around the edge and you wanna make sure there's no overhang. And then just go ahead and glue those two pieces of felt together all the way around just to seal that in. Then we're going to take the band of the hat and we're going to go ahead and put it around. Now remember the front is the pointy part. Start in the center and go around and glue that on. Okay, then we're just gonna take the other part and just put it right on top of the hat and that'll complete our hat. Then we're just gonna add a jute string just to give it a little decoration, wrap it around there and just tie it off twice. And then trim those ends off. Then we're gonna go ahead and make his hands. We're gonna take a little ball, take a little bitty pea size off of there, roll it up into a little noodle. That's gonna be his thumbs. And then on the ball part, squeeze the front pull it and then squeeze it back with the opposite way and that's going to pull and make his hands. So you're just squeezing from one side in the middle and the front side from the middle. Then we're going to cut it into three fingers and just separate them and just roll them in your fingers till you get them exactly like you want. If you didn't get them exactly like you want, you can always roll it back up in a ball and start over again. I do that all the time. Then go ahead and attach the, the thumb and make sure that you're putting the thumbs on the opposite sides when you do the two hands. 
just bend those over just to kind of give it a little bit of relaxation. We're going to stick a wire in there, make the other one just like it, and then you're going to bake them at 250 degrees for 15 minutes. Then we're going to take our noodle and we're going to fold it up in the center of our fabric so equal sides hang over on each side. I pulled it up. I was not going to put a seam on here because it was a finished edge already, but I decided to to make it look more like a shirt. Just glue that in. Then we're just going to cut slits at the top and the bottom just to secure it to the noodle so it's one unit. Just glue the tabs down all the way around. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do his legs. We're going to take the noodle, pull the wire out. We are going to cut them at three inches in length. And then cut those off and then just make sure that they both are the same length. Then we're going to take our sticks. We're going to sharpen them. I just sharpened them in a pencil sharpener and then we are going to cut them off at five inches. So measure at five inches and then just go ahead and clip that off. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and stick it down into the noodles. And then we're going to go ahead and make his socks. Now you can use a, a sock or I had some just ribbed fabric is what I found. I had it already. But um, if you have, if you're using a sock and it doesn't have a finished end on the top, it really won't matter because we're going to cover it up with the pants anyway. So just just make a seam down one side to finish out the back part, but don't worry about the top and the bottom so much. And then just if it has ribs on it, you want to probably line it up, just pull it up and make sure it's straight, that the, the ribs are straight. Okay, now we're just going to um, go ahead and cut it into the noodle. The, um, the finished edge is on the front of the shirt and then you need to make sure that the finished edge is on the back of the legs. And just kind of center them in there and go ahead and push them in. We're not going to, and we're not going to seal them up yet. Now we're going to go ahead and boss our fabric. I'm just taking an a ink, ink pad or a stamp and I'm going to stamp it onto, um, and I'm using an archival, archival ink pad. Just get it really loaded, stamp it. And then we're just going to put some clear embossing powder over it. And then we're going to take a heat source and we're going to heat it up. And it really worked out good. I was surprised how much it lifted it up off the fabric and you could really feel the embossing on it. And I'm going to do it to both sides of his pants and then the top part of his um, suspenders as well. And then try to make sure, I went ahead and moved this back over to this side because I wanted to make sure I kind of had them even before I stamped it. And then just do the same process with the rest of your pieces. Stamp them however you want to with a, whatever stamp you want to use. Okay, now that we got all that done, we're going to go ahead and glue them together and you have a back and a front and I marked that on the pattern. So we're just going to glue the top edge of the back and the front together and let those dry and then we're going to open them up and we're going to glue the facing sides together on these. You're just going to glue down both sides. And then we're going to glue down the inseam. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach our legs. Just put a little glue inside of the leg and around the top part of the leg and just make sure that your seam's in the back. And then do that to both of them. OK, 
Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and I went ahead and go ahead and tap, do some little slits in the inseam. It makes it open up a little bit bigger. Just little bitty slits and then turn it right side out. And then I decided to trim mine off another quarter of an inch because they were a little bit long once I got him on onto my um, gnome. So just trim off another quarter of an inch on the length there for his shorts. And then go ahead and attach them to his body. And then we're just going to glue them all the way around to hold them in. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and add his um, bib and his suspenders. Just kind of center it between the two, the top and the bottom, and then just put the suspenders on both sides. Just right along the edge. And then glue it up at the top as well. You're just coming down a little bit over the bottom uh, where the top part of his pants are. We're gonna cover that up in a second. So just make sure that you're just, you know, a little bit over the edge there. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and do the back part. Just flip him over and just make an X on the back for his suspenders on the back. And then we're going to go ahead and add a waistband. So just take it in the very center and glue it down and then pull it all the way around and glue it in the back. Just make sure it's straight. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and add the other pieces to these. I don't know exactly what these are called, but um, You've seen them on later hosen before. We're just going to glue them down and then glue the top part over the top edge. And if you know what that part's called, love to hear it in the comments. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and build the shoes. We're going to go ahead and um, add some glue. And I'm taking um, three 5 16 inch weights. And you really don't need that many if you don't want to put that many. I put three because I like a little bit overkill than not enough. So I put three. Okay, then we're going to take our fabric and we're going to glue the, the um, shoe right to the fabric. And then we are going to trim it up the side to glue it up the side so it finishes it out real well. Okay, just add some slits all the way around. And then just add some glue and then just glue it to the shoe. It just makes for a nice finished edge. You don't see anything on the bottom of the shoe when you flip him over. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and add the fabric. We're gonna go right in the center, glue it in, and then we're gonna come all the way to the back. So just go ahead and put the glue on the back flap and then glue it all the way around back to the back flap so we want the front to not have a seam and then we're going to cut a, a one inch opening in the front for the tab we're going to go ahead and glue that down and then we're gonna come at, up at the top edge of where the shoe tab starts and we're gonna diagonal it down to create like some loafers. And then go ahead and glue those together. And if you don't get it just perfect right here, don't worry about it because we're gonna come back in and put some little tassels in there. And then go ahead and glue it around the back and tuck that all the way inside that shoe. Okay, then we're going to do the same exact thing for the other shoe. Just 
just make sure your little slits are even. Mine got a little bit lopsided on me because I got in a hurry. Just take your time on that part. Then we're going to come back in. We're just going to trim out the bottom with a quarter inch piece of um, felt. Just starting at the back. Go all the way around and just glue that in the back. And then do the same thing for the other one. Then we're going to go back in and we're going to add a couple little tassels. I just got some braided um, leather or faux leather. Just folded it in half and I'm just putting it on the top part. Just to kind of make it look like a little tassel. And then I'm gluing it to the shoe as well. Okay, then put a bunch of glue inside the shoe and we're going to go ahead and attach it to our gnome. Just make sure his sock is all the way in there and that they're even on both sides. Just spend some time really pressing them in there, making sure that they are even so that he stands perfectly straight. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a rubber band and put it around the bottom part of his pants leg. Pull it up a little bit so you can see the sock. We're kind of making like knickers and wrap that around there and then we are going to glue a piece of trim around there to hold all that in. And just make sure your seam finishes out in the back. And do the same thing for the other side. Just pull it up there where you can see the sock and then trim it out. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and add the buttons. Just put a button on each side of the front part there. Okay, then we're gonna cut his beard at one and three quarter by one and three quarter. Just draw your line. And then we're gonna U down to the bottom point and back up to the other side. So just cut around there in a U shape behind the faux fur only, and then trim off any excess fur. Then we're gonna take the beard and we're gonna attach it to the top edge and we didn't make a long beard because I still wanted his little bib on his um, later hosen to show. Then we're going to take his arms. We're going to go take the wire out. We're going to cut them both at three inches each. And then just make sure that they, after you cut them, that they're even because you want to make sure that his arms are the same length. And then we're going to go ahead and attach his hands. Just put a little bit of glue in there and attach his hands in there. And then the wire that we took out of there, we are going to cut it to where it hangs over the edge about a half an inch. And we're gonna put that down into that noodle as well. So cut it off, we're gonna go over about a half inch. And then we're gonna glue that on down in there too. And then do that for both of them. Don't force it, just kind of put it in there. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and hot him up one side on the shirt. And I went back in and hemmed up the other side after I rolled it up. I figured out it was a little bit long, so if you wanna go ahead right now and hem up that other side when you um, have it open, it'll be a little bit easier. I waited till I added the arm, rolled it up, and then I figured out it was a little bit too long. And then I went back in and I, um, I hemmed it up a little bit. I was just trying to really make sure that I got the back, the back um, seam towards the back of the arm or towards the inside of the body. And same thing with this one. I rolled it up, did the same thing. And then trimmed and then trimmed it up as well. So go ahead and felt, go ahead and open it up and then bend that over and glue that in. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and bend them over about a half inch on the top of each one of those. We're gonna take a ruler, we're gonna come down an inch and an eighth, and we're going to on both sides, and then we're gonna um, poke a hole in with an exacto knife, and then I'm gonna take a piece of um, dowel rod it has a sharp end on it and i'm gonna poke it all the way through to the other side so i can get my arms even so it's the same spot on both sides 
Then I'm going to just add glue that opens up that noodle to where you can twist that arm on in there and you want to get that arm twisted all the way in there to where that bend is. And then you just kind of bend his arm down after that. And then do the same thing for the opposite side. That noodle, at, when you heat it up, that noodle opens up a little bit and it allows you to get that arm pushed all the way down in there. And just make sure that your thumbs both are facing forward. Okay, next we're going to just go ahead and attach his little hat. And I'm just going to put some glue on the very back part of his hat. And I'm just going to glue that into the back of his back of his body. So just kind of do it at a little bit of a tilt and push that on down. Then we're going to go ahead and add the bead right in the middle. And I'm kind of just pushing it up underneath the hat a little bit. All right, there you have it. Cute little um, Bavarian gnome and lederhosen. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.